Darius Rucker is here, and Darius has done it again. Got another number one hit this week, celebrating his seventh number one hit, Homegrown Honey, long-awaited release of his fourth studio album, Southern Style, in stores this week. We'll get to Darius in a moment. Here are your uh, headlines. James Harden drops 51 last night. Chris Paul, after getting his ankles broken by Steph Curry, goes for 41 and 17. And uh, Russell Westbrook did it again with another triple-double. Texas sent the jet for Shaka Smart. Let's see if he gets on the jet. And uh, Tony Romo says he'll restructure his contract. Tim Kalashaw, the Dallas Morning News, says, if that's happening, say hello to Adrian Peterson at some point for your Dallas Cowboys. Darius Rucker joining us now. Hello, I'd like to uh, cast a vote for the for the poll. Okay. I, I'd rather take a picture with John. I'd rather meet John Smalls than me. <laughs> I just want everybody to know that. But that's not, yes, it's whose who's career, whose life would you rather have? John Smoltz or you, Darius Probably, Rucker? I'd rather have John Smoltz just because he's in the Hall of Fame. I'm never going to be in the Hall of Fame of nothing. So I'll take a... You don't think the, you'll get in the country? The, I don't think I'll get in the Rock and Roll Country Hall of Fame, no. Country for sure. Uh, nothing. I don't think so. Not for sure. Well, you've if, seven, I, if I would, if I would have 10 more hits, maybe, but, you know, not right now. You know, this is what Smoltz did. He went from starter to closer. You went from cooting the bluefish to country. Yeah. So that you got to get credit for that. Yeah, I, I'm sure I get credit for it, but I just don't. I don't, I don't think I'm a Hall of Fame. If I no, said you could be in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame or the Country Hall of Fame. Oh goodness gracious! Good question. That's a great question right there. Why do you do this to me? Whichever one I say, I'm going to make 80 million exactly. people mad. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Uh, I know what you're going to Probably the Country Hall of Fame. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 exactly. that's smart. <laughs> I was going to try to help yeah, you there. Absolutely. Yep. I mean, yeah, it's, it's been so good to me in the last eight years. The Country Hall of Fame would be nice. But, you know, I'm not holding my breath. Or holding your hand. <laughs> there you go. I know. That's my guy. It doesn't matter. It, it, you it, always it, do it. But there's always a hootie lyric whenever I see you. Yes, always. Yeah, and I don't know. I, last I, night there was a bunch of them. I know. Yeah, well, you know. Let her cry. Yep. Dolphins make me cry. Not anymore. <laughs> you, you're done with the Dolphins. <laughs> After that 1-15 in 15 season, man, <laughs> I cried 15 times. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> I, love, I, I saw Darius last night, and uh, Darius was talking. He loves Dan Marino. Named uh, one, of your, daughter, one of your daughter, uh, daughter after yeah. uh, Dan Marino. and uh, But it changed a little bit. Like, you think Dan Marino is a handsome man. Yeah, he's a handsome guy. Okay. Your reaction when you met Tom Brady? <laughs> I have to tell, I tell I meet Tom Brady at this event Dan was having, and we were all in black ties. And uh, so Dan says, Darius Rucker, meet Tom Brady. And so I turn around, and I stick my hand out like a man, and I go, Oh, hi, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Tom, where are you going today? <laughs> Dan likes to make fun of me because, I mean, my whole demeanor changed. I was like, hey, oh, goodness, how are you doing? <laughs> I just, like I said last night, you know, I'm as straight as they come, but for about 36 seconds, I was <laughs> contemplating. <laughs> That handsome, huh? Yeah, handsome man. Handsome yeah, he man. he seems to have it all. Yeah. You know what we said? If, if, if that's true, Tom Brady, you know, Tom Brady's got it all. I don't know if he's got it all. Yeah. But if he's got it all, it's just not fair. Giselle playing Giselle, hoops with Michael Jordan. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, Super Bowls. Super Bowls. He's got it all. He's in the top 20 athletes in the last 20 years. Yeah. It's crazy, man. Yeah. Okay. Who else left you speechless like that? Uh, the first time I met Dan, I almost cried. We were doing the Only Want to Be With You video. And you almost he, cried when you met because Marino? Because he's, he's my favorite athlete of all time. And the reason we did the Only Want to Be With You video was so I could meet him. <laughs> and I'm on a football field, and he walks in, and he's walking to the field, and he, you know, he's, well, he's Dan Marino. I'm shaking. My producer's holding my hand. And the first thing he did was say, go long. I threw him the football, and I was like a three-year-old. <laughs> 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 did he know who you were? He had no, the whole man was, I mean, was so big that he had known, he, you know, he wasn't a fan, but he did the video because we, we called him up and asked him to do it. He said, yeah, I'll do it. And, you know, it was, it was a cool thing. He knew who I was. What if you sliced the, what, 18 million albums you sold with mm -hmm. that first uh, Hootie and the Bullfish? If you said, let's spread it out over, how many albums did Hootie have? No clue. I think six, Five, seven. Okay. But if I, I took all of that and spread it out evenly over your, your albums. Mm -hmm. Would it have changed you guys? Would you still be together if it? Because you had so much right away, try to deal with that. Yeah. And then whatever you wrote subsequently, people were always disappointed. Yeah. It was it was funny for us because, uh, you know, we sold five million on our second record, and it was a flop. You know, we just sold five million records, and you and people are calling it a flop. It and, and, and 
did didn't Taylor Swift the only one who sold like a million this past yeah. year? Yeah, she sold a million in a week. We sold a million one week. You know, back in the day. Yeah. It was uh. Yeah, it was crazy. I don't think we. I don't think anything would have changed though. I mean. Our lives changed so much, and we became different people. And when Sony said he was, he wanted to take some time off. That was just like. But but the expectation you never could reach. Oh, we we never could, and we knew we could never reach oh, that okay. again. We I mean we knew instantly that we would never reach Cracked Review ever again, and and we didn't even think that way. We just you know let's forget pretend that never happened. Was there part of you that wanted when you left Hootie? Did you want to do like R and B or hip hop? You know I I was you know, I love R and B and hip hop and everything, and and I did that record back in the day, but. I knew if I was going to make a career change, it was going to be country. You know, like that, that was a one off record. I, we were taking a few months off. What did your family think, though? That, they loved it. But not, but, not your, <laughs> but not your wife and kids. Yeah, my, I mean, my brothers and sisters. And oh, they did? They loved it. They, yeah. didn't, they yeah. didn't go, come on, man, country? No, they, they loved it. They, they think, they, they're just like, I hope you're successful. You know, got to pay some bills. <laughs> <laughs> First concert you went to? Uh, I went to Def Leppard at, in Savannah. Back wow. during the Pyromania days, Pyromania record that was awesome. But I think I saw I saw like a, a Ray Charles when I was twelve with my mom, and you know that. But that that my first concert by myself was Def Leppard. The embarrassing concert you went to. I saw Barry Manilow this year, but I'm not embarrassed That's not about embarrassing. it. I'm not embarrassed about it exactly. I did go see the Spice Girls once. Just because they were in the town I was in, I was like, I gotta see this. Show. Was that like recently? That you no, went to see? Oh, okay. that was ninety five. Right. Okay, <laughs> I went to see Britney Spears by myself. By yourself? Yeah, I did. See, that's is that bad? That's that's bad. If you had taken your daughter, that'd be understandable. Understandable, but yeah, you know, by yourself. Yeah, I went to see One Direction. I've seen One Direction. Well, you got a daughter. Who's I got a daughter who, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a daughter who loves One Direction. She got me. She had the, she had the best. April Fool joke. She she told me she was getting a sleeve because Zane left One Direction, you know. And Daddy went crazy. <laughs> Daddy went crazy. So she's gonna get a Zane tattoo. <laughs> yeah, the whole like a whole Zane sleeve. <laughs> I was like, no, you're not. <laughs> Have you met One Direction? No, I've never met those guys. No. If you did, and with your daughter. Oh. I'd what if your daughter said, "Daddy, I'm going on tour with One Direction." I'm going to ask her how she's going to afford that because <laughs> I'm not bankrolling that one. <laughs> no. No, she can go see him, but not, none of this Grateful Dead following him around stuff. See, no all of these things when you were rock star and you had all these women following you, <laughs> now all of a sudden your daughter is of age and she's fallen in love with One Direction. She loves them, man. She loves them. Yeah. She does. Uh, did we come up with a cover that Darius is going to do? Well, the one I saw the other day, which I know would be tough right now, I heard about Purple Rain because last time you did U2. Yeah, can't play Purple Rain with a right. guitar. What's, what's the You did acoustic of a U2 song last time. Oh, I did that uh, running the stands. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, that was. By the way, Seton, did you uh, pull up that Michael Jackson Beatles come together? Do you have that? I was listening to this yesterday. Uh, does Two Days have this? All right. I didn't know this was it's Michael lost, Jackson. Dude. This sounds so damn good. Michael Killing it. <laughs> That's awesome. How good is that? That's awesome. How good is that? That gave me chills. That was so but awesome. I, but I, I like that Michael loved the uh, the music so much, he bought the entire catalog. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Paul McCartney. <laughs> you know, hanging out with Paul McCartney. Paul, you know what? What should I do with my money? You know, you should invest in publishing. Okay, I'm going to buy all the Beatles songs. <laughs> <laughs> that turned out to be one of the best investments. Yes. Because it's worth over a billion, I think, now. Yeah. And it's only going to continue to grow. Did you ever cover Michael Jackson? Uh, no, never. I've never done a Michael Jackson Beatles? cover. Oh, we've done a couple Beatles covers. We do like Blackbird or something. We did like Blackbird. We did uh, Eleanor Rigby back in the day because our first drummer was a cello, was a cellist. Yeah. So we do oh, play okay. cello and yeah. we would play Eleanor Rigby. Uh, what cover do you want to do? I uh, gosh, I don't, I don't. But know. But like what? Just tell me. I don't know. How about I do? I go blind. Would that be good? No. Uh, how about uh? Give me, know. give me some options here. Okay, okay. I go blind. I can play uh. 
all those Hootie songs that you love. Tom Tom Sawyer uh, from I, Rush. I, I know the song. <laughs> Are you still? Me? You guys know that I I'm not a guitar player. I know. I play with that's the a guitar. prop. I mean, I can't. I can't play. Tom Sawyer would be. I would be a no. That's a, that's a prop. It's a prop. Yeah, I can't it's play not this even. Thing. Yeah. yeah. Who's a better guitar player, you or Bono? I bet we're about even. <laughs> <laughs> we're well, about even. Well, now that he screwed up his hand when he... Yeah, exactly. Can't his, play more. Yeah, so. And I'm taking lessons now, so I'm getting better, man. Oh, you are? Oh, yeah. Okay. Get ready for the, you know, the tour. All right, well, we'll take a break. All right. We'll figure something and out. And then you'll figure something out. You'll yep. tell me who you want to cover. Okay. But but I don't want you to cover a Hootie song. I'll do a George Michael song. Oh. How's that? Okay. All right, deal. We gotta well, have gotta faith, remember, faith, uh, faith. Won't be that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's uh, on that album, though. It's on that album. Okay. And uh, maybe uh, take a couple of phone calls here. Absolutely. All right. He's Darius Rucker and uh, celebrating his seventh number one hit this week. In fact, we celebrated that last night, didn't yes, we? we? Yes, we Yes, we, we did. We celebrated it very well. Yes, we did. Darius sits down. He looks at the uh, wine uh, list, and he goes, we're celebrating number ones. And next thing I know, when we were uh, divvying up the bill, well, I wasn't. Darius there said, no divvying. <laughs> Darius, yeah, well, you were celebrating. Yeah, Dar no, Darius I... says, uh, how much do you tip on five grand? <laughs> <laughs> there was only four of us. There was only four of us, yeah. How did that happen? I still don't know. How, when that bill came and got, I was like, whoo. <laughs> <laughs> that was some good wine. <laughs> how much do you tip on five grand? And I went, I, um... <laughs> Think a grand. We knew we were in New York City last year. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> You're not in uh, South Carolina anymore. Nope. All right, we'll come back with Darius. Uh, his uh, number one hit, Homegrown Honey, the fourth studio album, Southern Styles, in stores this week. Twitter is uh, at Darius Rucker. We'll continue with uh, D coming up.